Deontay Wilder, should he retire or should he fight on? Let's talk about it. City of brotherly love, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. The undefeated, undefeated heavyweight champion of the world. It's your boy G5 Jeff TV, aka G5, aka 5, aka the guru. And the question of the day, Deontay Wilder, should he retire or should he continue to fight? Now, we just seen him get stopped in the fight against Big Bang Zhang out in Saudi. And I'm not going to lie, I'm a big Deontay Wilder fan. It was just hard for me to see that. I mean, he got caught with a shot. He did the 360 with the, with the point in like this. Like the infamous Zab Judah video against uh Kansa Zhu back in the day. And just I mean, we gotta admit it, like Wilder just has not looked the same in his last couple of fights. He's lost four out of his last five. And just going back to the Big Bang Zhang fight, the thing with this fight, it was similar to the Joseph Parker fight. He just looked like he was out there trying to prove that he can box. He was out there trying to prove that he can move. He was trying to proved that he had elements to his game. And Wilder made his name off of landed power shots, turning people's electricity off. And I'm not going to lie, since he's been with Malik Scott, just the kill mode button has been turned off. And that's not how Wilder made his name. And if Wilder fights again, he needs to get back to that. But he's been saying he's been he's going to get back to that for the past couple of fights. And it just hasn't happened. Now, you go back to the Joseph Parker fight, same thing. It almost looked like a sparring session. It looked like he was learning a lot in training camp, and he wanted to show the world how much he learned, except for going out there and just handling business the way that he's usually handling business. you know. And that was hard to see. You rewind back to the Tyson Fury fights. You go back to the first fight. Everybody was talking about Glove Gate. Everybody was talking about Tyson Fury cheated. Went into the second fight. Wilder lost that fight. Bad. Third fight against Fury. Lost that fight. Bad. And at this point, I think Wilder needs to ask himself, what am I fighting for? Am I fighting for money? Am I fighting for legacy? Am I fighting for fame? Am I fighting for my family? Like, what am I fighting for? That's the question that Deontay Wilder has to ask, and he has to ask that question and answer that question. Me personally, I think Wilder should fight one more fight, but I don't think it should be in Saudi Arabia. I think he should fight one last fight, hand-picked opponent, fight in your home of Alabama, and go out that way. But as far as I'm concerned, Wilder proved everything he needed to prove in the sport. He's a winner. He's an overachiever. And to be honest with you, he's one of the most entertaining knockout artists and power punchers and heavyweights that we've had in the past 15 years. I don't care if you love Wilder or hate Wilder. Get that man his respect. Get that man his props. From G5 to Deontay Wilder, salute. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. It's your boy Five. I'm out. Brotherly love, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. The undefeated, undefeated.